Hey guys, Gary from DIY Electronics and welcome to the palatious studio of DIY Electronics. Um, today what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be concentrating on showing you how to set up your NerdMiner 2 on your home network um, or your office network, it doesn't matter, as long as you got a network, I'm going to show you how to set it up on the network. Now I'm going to put this down before the blood runs out of my arms. I already made a video on this type of nerd miner. Um, if you get one of these from Amazon and you want to use the GitHub bit file to get your nerd miner 2 to work, it won't work on the Amazon ones because these are a different version from everything else that people on GitHub are using. They're using the ones from China, which the, the 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 number whatnot ends in an R. I don't know what the R is, but for some reason, if you don't have one that ends with an R, the uh, GitHub bin files for Nerd Miner 2 will not work on this type of uh, ESP32. All right. With that said, um, what I did was um, I got one of these from China. I extracted the bin file from it, and I can now put that onto the Amazon one, and that's what my other video was about. But this one, I want to concentrate on just, <coughs> excuse me, I concentrate just on getting your nerd miner onto your home network or your office network. Now, there's a misconception where you think that this nerd miner has to stay continuously hooked up to a running computer or a running Android phone. No, the Android phone or the PC or the Mac or the um, Apple phone, that is just a tool that you use to uh, manipulate the NerdMiner onto your home um, network. You can So after you get this up and running, you can shut off your phone, shut off your PC, shut off your Mac, shut off your iOS. Um, those are just tools to get this onto your home or office network. Now the other thing that I want to touch on is if you use your PC or the Mac, it's best if you use the Microsoft Edge browser to get this set up. For some reason, um, it has a problem with Google. And it will work on Google, but you gotta really you gotta mess with it and everything else. It's just a pain in the butt. But I found that Microsoft Edge works the best. So let's get right into it. I'm going to first use my PC in Microsoft Edge to put this onto the home network. So first we got to power it up. And let me get my power cord here. Once I power it up, I'm going to show you what it shows on this thing, on the front of it. Let me get you over here. I have to do it this way because that's the, the best view. All right, so right now it says waiting config, use Wi-Fi to set up, and then it says the Wi-Fi SSID is NerdMiner AP, and the password is mine your coins. Now, notice that mine your coins is M, Y, and C are all uppercase. Remember that because that's been a lot of problems with guys is they're not using the uppercase. So it's M, Y, and C are uppercase. Mine your coins. All right, let's get you back into the studio studio um, studio view. Notice I, I am a professional too. Um, all this like this, that's just part of being a professional videographer. All right, I'm going to go over to Microsoft Edge now. All right, here we are. We got to open a open um, browser of Microsoft Edge. What you want to do is you want to go down here to your wireless internet and left click it. Right here on the internet that you are hooked up to, you want to right click and say forget. All right. Now, here is NerdMiner. You want to double click. Then you want to say connect. If this screen does not show up where it wants you to put in the security key, go go right here and right click. Well, matter of fact, just hit cancel and then right click and say forget. All right. So if this if this screen right here does not show up, um, get out of it. 
or however you got to do maybe go down here and click this and then go up here and right click and say forget all right now enter your security key remember it's mine your coins all right let's just oh i spelt coins wrong notice that i'm going to do it again mine your mine your coins let's check it mine your coins hit next um do you want this pc to be discoverable just say yes that's fine so right now it's checking the network Da 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 da. Just let it do its thing. That's fine. It says can't connect. That's fine. So what you want to do is you want to go over here, and you want to go 192.168.4.1. Enter. All right. My Google automatically opened up. Just kick it down. Just get rid of Google. You want to get back on Microsoft Edge. See this right here? We only want to hit configure Wi-Fi. I don't know why Google just pops back up like that, but if it does on your machine, just take Google and just get it out of the way. See, see Google come back up? And it keeps on doing this bullshit for some reason. It, it finally does show up, but don't use it. All right, get rid of it. Go back to Microsoft Edge. Put in your... The SSID for your local home internet, and it's got to be the 2 gigahertz, not the 5 gigahertz. It's got to be 2 gigahertz. Put in your password. Uh, VRN at 600. All right. Uh, put in your Bitcoin address. I just so happen to have mine right here. Get that out of the way. Uh, paste it. And yes, that is my Bitcoin address. You, if you want to pause the video right now, write that down and send me a million dollars. That would be very much appreciated. All right. Then all you do is hit save. All right. Just uh, whatever this is, just say not now. Now I'm going to come back to this. And there you are, it's now hashing. I know I got out of that other screen real quick. All right, I'm just gonna bring you back to it. But that's what it says, after you hit save, it says saving credentials, trying to connect to the ESP to the network. Um, and if it fails, it just says try it again. I just wanted to get out of here real quick, all right, and get you back so that you can see that it is hashing. All right. Now, if you want to check your work, what you do is I'm going to go back to the internet. All right. This is where this is where you want to go to check um, and see if you are um, mining. Just put in your your uh, um, Bitcoin address up there, and here you are. And we are mining at. 62.9 kilohashes a second and that is on the um, this miner that we just set up all right so anyways guys that is how you do it on a let me come back here so you can see my pretty face hashing that guys is how you get a nerd miner on the home internet um, 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 office internet however whatever you want to do using a PC and again the key to it is, is use Microsoft Microsoft Edge okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video I'm going to reset this and how you reset it is the second pin over it towards the inside of the board press and hold that for 15 seconds and that will wipe it out and it'll be sitting there waiting for you to 
um, put it back onto a um, back onto a network somewhere. I mean, it's it's good to know. Say that you ever change your your network key, or you want to change your uh, Bitcoin wallet. Um, you moved and you want to change the SSID or and, and anything like that. That is how you reset it, and then you just uh, set it up again. Is by that it's called boot. If you if you'll see it on the back, it says boot. Press and hold it 15 seconds, and it reverts this back to the um, the standard bin file that it came with. All right. I'm going to pause. I'm going to get set up and show you how to activate this with an Android phone. I'll be right back. Hey guys, uh, Gary from DIY Electronics. I'm back with the second portion of how to program um, your nerd miners. Now, what, what the second part was supposed to do was I was supposed to show you how to program your nerd miner using your phone, either an Android or an iOS, Apple or whatever. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do it because I tried it with three different phones. I tried it with a Google 4A, I tried it with my Motorola um, G, and I also had an old Hot Pepper uh, one, and that did the same thing. What it does is it it programs the the miner fine, but when you're looking at the hash rate, it just stays it's zero zero zero, and you go to publicpool.io, and your miner doesn't even show up. It acts like it's mining, but it's not. There's something with the phone, and when you're programming some portion of it, it just doesn't work. It doesn't let it hash. I don't know what it is. I don't want to go any further into it. I just want to give you guys a solid way of getting your Nerd Miner, uh, Nerd Miner 2s up and working, and that is by using a PC or a Mac, and using um, Microsoft Edge to do your um, Wi-Fi configuration. Okay, again, the PC and the Mac is just a tool to um, get your miner up and running on your network. It's, it doesn't have to stay continuously plugged into your um, PC or Mac. It's just a tool. Your PC or Mac is just a tool to get it running. And the other thing is, is um, when you um, do hook up to the Wi-Fi of the Nerd Miner, don't let Google take over. Google pops up, X out of it, and just work with Microsoft Edge. And just one other uh, thing before I go is I want to show you. All right, so I'm going to go. You go to your internet connections, and right here. Um, make sure you right click and forget each one of these right click forget all right and then right click forget right here forget all right now once you forget all of them you click on nerd miner you hit connect and then it says it wants you to put in the security key make sure you get this window because if you click on nerd miner and it automatically brings you over to the um, configuration, Wi-Fi, whatever it is, don't do it. Make sure you come back here and you forget the nerd miner, um, the nerd miner Wi-Fi or SSID or whatnot, and make sure you get this window and put in mine your coins, okay? And then say connect. Because if you don't, it's not gonna work. That's the other thing I found out, all right? Um, let me just go, I'm going to say, mine your coins, and just say yes. Okay, now it's checking the requirements, and it's going to pop up a window here. It's going to pop up Google automatically, because i that's my primary browser, is Google. But what you want is, you want Microsoft Edge, okay? So... If you were to go in here and you say, oh, here's a nerd miner, you go, um, hang on, let me just go in here again. Uh, let me get rid of that. Come on. See that Google keeps popping up. If you get this, make sure you hit right click and forget. Then go back in and left click it, connect, and put in that security key. 
don't just let it go all the way over. You got to put in that security key. I, I, I know I'm, 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 I'm beating this like a dead horse, but this is one of the key factors right here. All right, let me come back. All right, guys, thumbs up, thumbs down. I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of thumbs down on this because it's kind of confusing, but that is um, a true and proven way to get your nerd miner up and working is um, with a PC only or um, a Mac. I'm sure it should be the same on the Mac and use Microsoft Edge. All right, thumbs up, thumbs down, like, subscribe. And uh, I do have these available on my website. Uh, the link will be down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, guys. Uh, Gary from DIY Electronics again. I just wanted to tack this on. I'm going to show you that it will work with Google, but I suggest you use Microsoft. So I'm going to, I got one right here. I'm going to power it up. I'm not going to show you, you know, you, you know what it says here. It says mine your coins, all that stuff. Let me just show you that it's, uh, at its starting stages, okay, and it's on my, it's on a white cord, just to show you. Now, what you do is, I got it powered up, I'm going to go over, and I'm going to open up my Wi-Fi here, and again, uh, right click, forget. All right, so we forgot that, forgot that, now if we go to Nerd Miner, and... You want to forget it because I was working, I was working, you know, with a nerd miner before and I just wanted it to forget about the um, SSID. Okay, so now we forgot all of these. You want to um, hit on nerd miner, connect, put in mine your coins. M I N E. Oops, that's a T. Y O U C O I N S. What is wrong with my keyboard? Oh, here we go. All right. So let's just check and make sure it's correct. Mine your coins. Go next. And then whatever this is, just say yes. Now it's checking. All right. This thing shows up automatically. Okay. So I'm going to go uh, configure Wi-Fi. I have a feeling that maybe the problem I was having before is I wasn't forgetting all of the other networks. And it was just causing a conflict with, um, see now, see, this is what I don't like. See this, it looks like it's trying to connect to Microsoft. It says M, look like soft, something connect, and then it just opens the window up again. And watch, if you wait a second, it'll open up another window, and then another, and then another, and then another. So that's why I don't like Google, but I'm going to kick on this one. And I'm going to put in my SSID. I'm going to put in the SSID's um, password. Um, I'm going to put in my Bitcoin address. Uh, let's see if, see if it's, yep, still there. And then I'm going to say save. All right, save it credentials. Um, all right, I'm going to bring you back to the Back to the miner. And there you go. It starts it starts hashing. But did you see guys? Something's going on with Google that I, I have a feeling that M Soft Connect or something like it's it's looking for Microsoft. Um, but I just wanted to attach this on that it will work on Google. But just make sure in all of your SSIDs, you are disconnected from every SSID and then connect to the nerd miner and put in the, you know, mine your coins. Because um, if you don't do that, all you're going to have to do is, you know, you're going to have problems. So uh, like, subscribe, hit the button, bang, bang, bang. Uh, I know you guys are sick of seeing me today. Thanks for watching. But I hope this helps.